black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all. What up? Welcome to today's vid. We're having a simple pepperoni and cheese freezer pizza shootout. On the right, we have President's Choice. Canadian brand makes great products. But we also have Doc Doc Doctor. We also have Doctor Etker. Oatker, I don't know how you say his name, but the Casa de Mama version of it. It's a thin crust with a rising edge, and this is just strictly a thin, but they're both pep and cheese. I'll show you them from my angle, just so you can have a better understanding of, you know, how they look from my angle. So boom, fresh out the of, we got the President's Choice here, and then we got the Casa de Mama, that crust does look better on the edge. Pepperoni and cheese definitely has a different vibe, and it's more seasoned with Italian herbs. That said, I'm ready to see who reigns supreme. So before we do anything more, we must pour, and we're going in with a Dr. Pepper. Full sugar night. You know? Iceman. Iceman's always jo joining the conversation. What up, bro? All right, fully topped, fully brimmed. Cheers to you, pucker face. Perfect. So for this ranch and hot sauce, Frank's red hot sauce, I love it. Okay, I gotta cut these. We're gonna try them and then we'll talk about Freezer pizzas. All right, comparative narrative. Definitely very different. Naked bite first. I'm familiar with both, I've had them before. Never side by side. This one immediately. Seems more flavorful. The sauce. I'm definitely thinking this one right now just immediately kind of tastes better. My other favorite thing, just Frank's hot saucing. A hot, simple slice. of freezers all. So I'll be honest, I actually like freezer pizza quite a bit. I do crave it from time to time. I think we've come so far in the pizza technology game that sometimes spending $3.99, these were both $3.99 each, Instead of like thirty dollars, or twenty, twenty-five, 
on something that's honestly not too far off from, let's say, like a Domino's. If you order Domino's, I feel like it's pretty close. Pretty close to something like this. It's always good to like grab like four or five at the store, spend 20 bucks, throw them in the freezer, and you just know like if you get a random pizza crave, like you have just something quick and easy right there that's basically on point you know and this is something I always debate freezer pizzas do you just cut it into fourths and keep it like that or do you go eight and have like the mini slices I personally love the mini slices and that's because I have like a Since my younger days, I used to love to get one pepperoni pizza, like a bag of salt and vinegar chips, chocolate bar for after maybe, cue up a good movie, and then just have it in the tiny... The tiny triangles and I would just always douse it with Frank's fruit flies and just like chill in my room watch like an episode or something And that would be like a, just a de-stress my time ritual. So that's especially why freezer pizzas have such a special place in my heart. I'd say these two for sure are my top two favorite. I've tried like there's like the, the Delicio ones or the DiGiorno ones, but they're not, there's something funky about them. I always find the pepperoni to taste kind of off, kind of funky, kind of weird. Sometimes I like to get just a four cheese or quattro fromage. And sometimes I'll while out and get like a, what's the one? There's like mushrooms, like mushroom and caramelized onion or something like that. This is so just high school cafeteria though, you know?
I feel like calf pizza and freezer pizza. Our homies. They're of the same creed. What's your favorite food and like movie TV show ritual? We all got one. I don't know why snacking and eating while just watching shit is such an enjoyable like life activity. But it really is. It is the best. I suppose it's because we're stimulated. <laughs> uh, Audio-visually. Also through our flavor hole. And we're just pacified. <laughs> and in like a, a state of like, mmm. Don't have to think. Mmm. <laughs> Paying attention to this thing that's happening. Most recently for me, F-Boy Island. <laughs> Another ridiculous, hot person, hot people of the world, extremely shallow, vapid uh, reality show that sucked me right in. <laughs> I first episode I was like, okay, I can't watch this. Go into the second episode and like, all right, maybe they have something here, and now I'm just six deep, waiting for the next three to drop. <laughs> It is actually a very psychologically interesting show, though. Due to the F-boy or nice guy secret status, which then gets revealed at times. But, like, the F-boy might not necessarily get eliminated, but he tells these girls that... are the girls that they're trying to like win over. He reveals or they reveal like that they're an F boy, but they're still in contention. So it's like these women are now like, Oh, you've been playing me, but are you sincere? So in that regard, it's pretty interesting. It's also kind of cheesy and corny, but It wrote me in. It hooked me. All right. All in all, I'm going to go with probably this one right here. The Casa de Mama with the rising crust. It's just got a better overall flavor. And I think if I cooked it even a little longer and got that uh, crust a little more crispy, it would be even, even way better than this one. So now I know who really is the king of the freezer aisle at Shopper's Drug Mart. <laughs> All right. Till the next one. Eat good, live well. Stay true.